all right hi and welcome to today's reality wrap we just got news about a real housewives of beverly hills marriage that is on the rock so we'll talk about that we have the real housewives of new jersey premiere cheers to our friendship i love you guys cheers. Cheers. so we're gonna talk about that there's some angela deem drama as per usual get ready your queen is back so that's gonna be on the list as well as Vanderpump Rules, Finale, Bachelorette, and a lot more. So let's get into it, Shawnee. Let's start with this Beverly Hills drama. What a surprise going into filming today. Hello. I mean, literally just came in. I'm just scrolling Instagram, minding my business. Bam! Dorit puts out a statement that she and PK are separated. Are you surprised? I'm surprised. I'm not surprised. And it just dawned on me. Dorit has been in jeopardy of losing her diamond. Yes. Is this maybe the last ditch, like, effort. Effort, stay on the cast? Because now we're going to want to see what's going on with their separation. Are they going to divorce? How is she going to deal with it? Donnie. I don't, the first, the minute I saw it, literally a minute ago, the first thing that came to my mind is, well, she's getting another season because mm -hmm. yeah, I won't be firing her. For me, Dory would have been gone two, three seasons ago, to be honest. Dory hasn't really given us any, that's just me. Person, I mean, she gives looks. She gives looks and I live for looks, but we're gonna need something else. And now right. she has that something else. And so I'm thinking that maybe the reason why there was some sort of limit about her job whether she was returning was that she probably didn't want to talk about this and like because it would have to be we're filming your real life right, you know right. so i think once she signed on i think their agreement was that we're gonna bring you back we're you're gonna talk about it and thus the statement mm -hmm. and hopefully yeah. it'll be more interesting than kyle's separation because that was trash because that we had to watch on the other show on Netflix. Because right, I, right. We had to wait until it. Mauricio aired it out. Like, Mauricio gave us everything. What Which a myth, Kyle. Shoot. Like, yeah. So also, what is Kyle giving us for the new season? Nothing. Absolutely. Um, Shawnee, by the way, here's why Dorit's news is even more interesting. Filming starts today on season 14 of Beverly Hills. I saw somebody posted it and then I saw Garcelle posted from her car and she put RHOBH filming. So here we go. Hopefully it'll be better than last season because I honestly expected last season to be a lot of fun and to be really interesting and dramatic and, you yeah. know, with. You know, with Kyle's separation and the Mauricio drama and all the Morgan Wade stuff and we didn't it wasn't news, yeah. man. It was just I can't really remember any memorable moment from last season for real. No. Really like nothing happened. Like little tiny things happened. Right, but, right. You know but nothing crazy, like Because you know. we can't even remember it right now. So clearly it was <laughs> Erica didn't even bring it. Like it was just also can we admit that Erica doesn't what is Erica giving us this season what do you think Erica Nothing. it's the same thing every season she'll give a couple of snarky one liners start an argument with somebody yeah Erica is... someone's party make a fool out of herself it's it's whatever I actually like Erica on the for some reason I like Erica on the show even if she gives me absolutely nothing I feel like for so many seasons she gave me something so no I'm like I'm gonna I'm gonna let you slide through these two little seasons she gets a couple but yeah I need to see something soon she needs to go Erica needs to go find herself a younger boyfriend or something exciting I think what she said she had. So she's dating, but I don't think she wants to put. It's well, nothing. Cares. Yeah, it's nothing that she wants. To, like, it's serious enough. Or she. I don't think she care about these people she's seen right now to even mention their names is what I get from <laughs> from her. But right. yeah. Everything I mean, about it is boring. So yeah. I'm just going to give her this season to be boring. And then next season, we're going to need her to bring it. So I she agree. Has one more season for me before I fire her. Because <laughs> I'm the executive producer. Oh, hey, Andy. Andy Cohen. No, and since we're speaking of Andy Cohen. You're Allie Cohen. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> My brother, Andy Cohen. Let's. Uh, people are literally dragging Andy on social media because Andy, by the way, that interview he did with the Hollywood Reporter 
loved it. He mm-hmm. talked about everything, the reality TV reckoning, the assaults, the, he literally, he spoke about every single thing. So I, it was a, it was a really good interview. However, the problem that people are having, they asked Annie to name housewives that are the, like the ideal housewives that kind of epitomizes housewives. And he named Portia Williams from Real Housewives of Atlanta, um, Tamara Judd from Orange County, our dear beautiful Kyle from Beverly Hills, and get ready for this one, Bryn Whitfield from the newly revamped Real Housewives of New York City. Okay, so here's my issue with this list. First of all, most Housewives fans don't even know who Bryn is. So there's that. Exactly. Exactly. He named two Housewives that left and came back. Yeah, that, yes, yes, yes. One of them not on her own accord. So Yes, Tamara. Yes, I've by that so much that she had to take a break. Okay, Andy, like. Who would be your... That's like the four Housewives that are like his favorites right now, because this is well, dope. You know, Andy loves Kyle. You know he and you oh, know he does, he loves or she Portia. wouldn't be there, right? And he loves Portia because Portia, even when Portia was fired, Portia was on Watch What Happens Live. Portia, several Portia times. was never even fired. I don't feel like I feel like no, she, she left wasn't. to go live her little luxury life, and then when mm. luxury life was over, she came back. Portia left because she refused to talk about her messy little love triangle when she stole that woman's husband. Okay? She I mean, or you could say it that way, right? That, right. Is, that is what happened. She didn't want to talk about because Kenya would have been like, so. Oh, yeah. She would have been, I mean, they would have been digging up all the bones. Like and, and, and also, Portia is smart enough to know that she would have to discuss it. It's not like Kyle who thinks she can just come on the show and not talk. Portia knows she would have to talk about it. And right. she wanted to talk about it on her own terms thus her spin-off show that was a train wreck oh my gosh it made her look worse i've never been more embarrassed for portia in my entire life than that show it was so oh, embarrassing <laughs> man oh so here's what people are saying here's why people are upset with andy they're saying like portia has been fighting left and right and stole somebody's husband and she every time i see house no i love portia sean you know we love portia. i know you're yeah. like the biggest Porsche fan ever, I know. But I can also say she's not the standard for housewives. I just like no. forgive her a little indiscretion. Nini is more housewives than Porsche, but he can't say Nini out loud. Right. So. The problem In is fact, that- if I had to pick my four, Nini would be number one. What? Me, Shawty, I mean, even be if like you- Nini, Lisa Vanderpump, like probably Vicky Gunvalson, Teresa Giudice. And I don't even Johnny, like Nini. You picked I mean, you pick the four people that everybody is saying because, because it's true. It's I mean, true. you think real Hulk is real, and you think Nini. But however, if you're suing me, I'm not calling your name. Like you're right, right, right. You can't call that name. Obviously. And but he could said, say Candy. He could have said, no, "Don't you say don't Candy? Don't you dare say Candy." He was on the show a long time. Candy. And she bored me for 13 seasons. I know y'all love Candy, but listen, I know. I mean, I don't even love her. I'm just saying, like, if he had to call some names out, like, Portia wasn't even a housewife for most of it. She was single for most. She listed the people that he liked. (laughs) And not listen. (laughs) Epitomizing houses. Because Portia made no sense in that. It's Nini, number one. We know that it's Nini because. Right, right. I mean, you can't say Bethany Frankel either, and she would have deserved, she's a, the epitome of a housewife too, but you can't gonna, say that one out loud either, so. If you're going to say, house, also Vicky, Vicky, because, and here's why. She's because, an OG, I mean. She's an OG, but also, and keep in mind when, here's my problem with like even Bryn, how does Bryn epitomize housewife when Bryn, Bryn is not a housewife? Season. But, and she's also not like she's the only unmarried wife person on this show. So she's literally not a housewife, Shawty. She's adorable and we love her. But no, but number one, nobody knows who Brynn is. And number right. two, she's literally not a housewife. She's not right. married. She has no kids. She's not that idea of right. a rich, gorgeous housewife with her hot husband and their stunning kids. And they're living this lavish life. You yeah, honestly, it just the list was ridiculous. Yep. I, I want to know his thought process behind that because the thought process was these are the people I like and these are the names that I'm gonna toss out there and just see what sticks. People are dragging him on social media like what? Like who? <laughs> of, co- well, of course, Tamara Judge immediately reshared the article. Like oh, her name is. 
was like, mm, look, look what she said. She said me. It's hilarious. But no, no, Andy, no. We love these people. Bryn, I have no beef with Tamara, but no. like Yeah, I have no beef with Tamara. And also, Bryn should not be on the list. This makes no Absolutely sense. Absolutely not. Nobody knows who Bryn is. Right. And she's also not a housewife. Let me just reiterate that. She's not right. a housewife. Not even married. She's the one cast member who's not married. Well, no, actually. Um, There's a couple well, of them. Her and Uber. On New York. I'm so, of anybody from the New York cast to pick? Right. But even then, I don't think you should have picked anybody from the brand new New York right. cast that right. almost no one knows. Right. But also, if you're thinking of the question of epitomizes, it's not what they've done, you know, it's their life. So it right. could have been that they're rich, they're married, they have a successful business, they have successful kids. He could have unpicked one and it would have been like, all right, she's new, but still epitomizes the brand, right? No. He no. was like, nah, for sure, timer. <laughs> Those are the one that he, ones that he's happy with right now. Oh, that is. He's like, yeah, they're on my good side right now. Let me toss their name in the mix. Right, right. All right. Do we want to talk about Angela and Michael before we get to Pump Rule? No, but I think we should. <laughs> we never so, want to talk about Angela. The key Ever. is mm -hmm. that Angela and Michael may not have actually been removed from the season of 90 Day Fiance Happily Ever After. After they re released the synopsis for like the next couple of episodes, we found out that they are expected to be on two episodes in May. So it looks like they were massively cut out of the mm -hmm. season, which will drastically reduce their paycheck, or rather right. her paycheck. So mm -hmm. basically what it looks like is that it will drastically reduce their paycheck since they get paid by, by per episode. Right. So I guess, I mean, I think they'd consider that the slap on the wrist. But as far as being fired, no. They're not going to fire their bread and butter, I guess. But Even though she's ranting daily on social media, it's freaking ridiculous. No, I saw a rant today where she was going off on Kimbali and her son because apparently they are following. Because, you know, Michael now is a free man. So right. Michael now has a social media. And, you he's know, been she live on TikTok all day. <laughs> Not all oh, day. Man. You know he's he's trying to put his money together, like <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, that's true. Alive. All day. I don't know what Kim Bali and and Jamal said. I don't know if they followed him. She went on a rant with them. I couldn't even watch the video. I'm like, I'm I cannot do this. So she's mad at them because they're following Michael. Oh no. <laughs> She's, I mean, you better be mad at everybody then because we everybody follow Michael and hire him for your cameos so he can make some money. He does I sent it. Michael a couple of roses on TikTok. So right. <laughs> you sent Michael a couple of roses on TikTok? You know, it's like four cents or something. Well, when Angela is at your door, I cannot help you, Shawnee. I will give her my address. We Bad can girl. <laughs> Bad girl team. <laughs> You know Angela is coming for you. I just got like 25 years on me. I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see if those roses were worth it, Miss Ma'am. Okay. <laughs> I have I send him a couple of roses. He did. Michael, we got you. Okay. Well, Shawnee has you because I cannot fight. And Shawnee's acting bad. So Shawnee's got you. And I have you from over here. <laughs> from way back here. <laughs> <laughs> You'll give him the free hearts. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Johnny, did you watch the Pump Rules finale? Or did you see the teaser for the reunion? We are getting ready for the season 11 reunion. Lala is, listen, I'm so over talking about Pump Rules, to be honest. Lala. Exactly. Is, I've been over it for like so five over. episodes. Do you remember when the trailer just came out and there was a scene of Lala saying she's never met a person who got cheated on and thinks they're God? Remember that scene came out? She was talking about Ariana. She was like, I've never seen a person get cheated on and suddenly they become God. Anyway, when that came out in the teaser, people were like, what? Lala, as per usual, said, you guys are going to understand it when it plays out. It played out and it was exactly what we saw and thought. She's bashing Ariana. Her and Sheena, the entire season, is them trying to get Ariana to just fall in love with Tom you and know, be his friend. Lala's mad because when she got cheated on and treated like trash, yeah. 
no, no one idea. came here. But also, I mean, probably because we all saw it coming from like a thousand miles away. Sonny. Also because of how she got him in the first he place. He was with him, the man when he was married. What do you want right. us to do? No, that the cheater cheated on you. What right. do you mean? That's to be expected. I mean, so, if I date a cheater, one thing's for certain is that he's going to cheat on me because he's a cheater. Leopards don't change their spots. What do you want us to do? No. But and also nobody in the history of reality TV has ever gotten the response that Ariana got. Like we didn't No, it was ridiculous. The, we did not expect the world to react this way. So I get that they're shocked, but like get a grip. Well, it was because of how it went down, the whole like it was with Raquel, Rachel or whatever, and they were supposed yeah. to be friends. And... Yeah, I get it, but still it was it took over. I mean the finding that time. that recorded video on his phone is how she found out. I mean, yeah. all of it was like all of it was crazy, but I did not expect the way. And Ariana, and she said, Ariana said nobody even knew her name. Nobody talked about her for seasons. Oh. And then suddenly she's calling the shots. Lala's jealousy is insane. Lala is a hater. She is a hater. Hater. And hater. the problem I have with Lala, I love Katie, because Kate, the problem I have with Lala is Lala just wants to film my show and get her paycheck. And that upsets me. Because if this is your friend, all Lala is thinking is Ariana is gonna make me lose my job. Ariana is gonna get the show canceled. Go film with right. Tom. But this and is maybe that's what's happening because did you hear that Lala really might go to the Valley instead? And we don't know if she's even coming back to Vanderpump Rules. Will they let her be on too? That's I don't the, know. Uh, yeah, that's the news. The news is that they will let Shawnee. Let me tell you this right now. I do not want to see Lala on the Valley because I like the Valley. I right? want the Valley it's over. Good, don't it. It's better than pump rules. With and listen, Sheena is etching her a little way over there too. Because the mm -hmm. moment the valley came out, news headline: Sheena Shea buys a house in the valley. I thought to myself, "Oh gosh, here we go." They see here. the writing on the wall. Vanderpump Rules is just. But I mean, I've seen talks that they're gonna pause it. They're yeah, talking about the they cancel it. Yeah, I mean, it's Shawnee, kind of it's a spinoff. Spinoffs never last this long. The fact that Vanderpump Rules has been on the air for this long mm -hmm. is a miracle. It is. So it's played out. I mean, the finale looked like a finale finale. In mm -hmm. the finale, they did the flashbacks, so like there was so show well, Sheena. They probably won't from, come back from season one. Sheena to know from season first mm -hmm. season. Lala, that's how they did it. Is like a goodbye sort right. of. Vibe. That sounds yeah. That sounds kind of foreboding. I mean, and Ariana. It seems the Ariana walked out in the final episode when Tom wanted to film with her to get this uh -huh. finale film, and she walked away. And I think. I'm guessing Ariana hasn't decided if she's coming back yet. And so I think, because Ariana has Love she's Island. Love Island now. And yeah. she also has, she's going back to Chicago because they're doing another right. run on Chicago. So right. Ariana is booked for the summer when they would usually film. And so, she's probably making more doing all of that than she ever did on Vanderpump right. Rules. So so. She, I think the pause is because of her. I really do. Wow. Because what else do they have to film? I mean, nobody cares about the rest of it. All they're going to do is milk. Nobody cares about any of it. Let's be real. Like, no one cares anymore. Even talking about it. They've got these, like, waiters, wannabe actors and actresses that are now, like, what, pushing 40? Yes, the kids and I move on. Like, I'll take the Valley without... The Valley is doing... Listen, yeah. if any of these, the Valley producers, has Instagram or Twitter, X, then and you read the first comment you will read is people saying we do not want Lala on the van. The no. is the ever we're all in agreement that we don't want Lala and Sheena on the valley. Please, no. I beg of you. Why would you take people off of a failing show and put them on a great show? Because I think they had that conversation with them prior, thinking that they would need them. So I think the initial conversation was probably no, they need to cancel even, that. And even Sheena is posting pictures with the Valley cast. Like Sheena, we get it. No, we get I it. I mean, they're all friends. They can post pictures, but they mm -mm, don't do it. Johnny, we have never seen Sheena post a picture of any of these friends until the Valley premiere. We've never yeah. seen Sheena post these people ever. Suddenly, she you know we're all them. friends. Yeah, Portia and Fallon were also friends. And we see where that ended up. So don't, don't send me this friend thing. Sometimes, we, sometimes you don't need enemies, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I don't want to hear about any friends, anything. No to Lala, no to Sheila.
God bless, Valley Agreed. people. Thank you. Agreed. I mean, I In agree. Advance. We need to take what they've got and not screw it up. We don't need to screw it up. We don't need to screw it up. The Bachelorette. There's a premiere date for, the, a premiere bachelorette. Date for the, ba- the Bachelorette, um, July 8th. It's what are we two months doing? away, but we have a premiere date. That's an early date, meaning they give us a date July. way in advance. That's pretty normal. Oh, you mean they're giving us the date way in advance? Yes. Two months? I almost feel like that was on purpose to take some of the heat off of the Maria Georges in- interview where she confirmed that she was oh. asked to be the Bachelorette. Were you offered the role as Bachelorette? The answer is yes. Okay. And she accepted the Bachelorette and she said yeah. that she even went as far as fittings for the Bachelorette mm-hmm. before she decided that now- it wasn't going to work. Right. Um, the T though now is now that she went and like pointed the finger at Nick Viall and was like, yeah, he was my friend and that whole thing about her saying that, you know, she thought that there might be a conspiracy with Sydney Gordon because yeah. Sydney was with Ashley and she was friends with Nick and Nick and Ashley are friends, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, mm-hmm. um, Nick caught wind of it. And on his podcast this week, he tore her a new one. Like he was, he tried to be really diplomatic about it, but I really have to wonder if Nick and Maria will ever be friends after this, because it's pretty obvious that he's pretty irritated. And it's also obvious that Natalie Joy doesn't like her. Natalie called her delusional and Nick was just like, well, I heard she was difficult to film with. And, you know, she, it may be, he said that he was really careful in what he said, but like, he basically said like, you know, that may be her truth, mm-hmm. but like the re- reading between the lines, like that may not be all of the truth. Like they may have got to like wardrobe fittings and been like, Maria is too much. But also how is he saying Maria is too much when he's friends with Sydney? That, no, that, he's friends with Maria. No, but he, no, but Ashley's Maria. friends with Sydney. And the okay. whole thing came out because Ashley and Sydney, like they all met up at some point with Nick and she took a picture with Nick and they posted it. Oh, okay, and gotcha. Saw it. So oh, that's okay. what it all came about. He wasn't friends with Sydney prior, I but see. he was just like, you know, if you think that I would set you up like that, like, I mean, that was, I feel like that was a little far fetched to say that Nick was involved in that. Setting. I think he has even that kind of power. Is and silly. Also, like, when you go, production be like, yeah, this, yeah. Nick Val has no pull on the Bachelor, but also oh. when you go in, you don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know who you're gonna get along with. So for that to be premeditated is a is a stretch. I feel right. like you know, like you didn't know you and Sydney were gonna. It, I don't think Sydney came in like her. Oh, it just it seems a lot but also what we're not gonna do what i'm not gonna accept is any maria slander from nick okay we're not i mean nick is allowed to defend himself though i understand that you might not like him as much as i do i do not i i mean he had every right to defend himself against that i do think that the bachelorette um dropping their date early may have been may have been related to that it may have been related to some of this golden bachelor drama it may be to get it out there before they announce the golden bachelorette because they're gonna have to do that so i do think that they have to get that out there too before they make the golden bachelorette announcement because once they make the golden bachelorette announcement nobody cares about the bachelorette Oh, okay, but so uh, so bachelorette is coming before golden bachelorette it's gonna okay. air before golden bachelorette airs but Golden Bachelorette starts filming, I believe, at the end of this month. That's like the big thing. Like, we're going to find out who it is because they're going to start filming it. They're going to start filming Golden Bachelorette at the end of this month. Mm-hmm. Okay, so then we got to know. So, so when are we, are you filming and you haven't even given us a name yet? No names. So why did you I don't that think that they even know yet. You know how they do. They'll wait all the way down till the end and have a couple people in mind or a couple people on board and then... Last minute. Last minute, you're going to tell me to get ready. I'm the Golden Bachelorette. We're filming tomorrow. What? Mm -hmm. Basically. I don't like that. I need to prepare mentally, physically, every all the alleys. Okay, let's talk about Paris and Nicole because this could be exciting, although I don't know. So Paris and Nicole are in talks or, well, I guess they're past the point of talking. Or there's rumors of, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, no, it's past the point of rumor. They're they've discussed. So they're it. doing it. Yeah, they're dukes, and they, and they have a production company already. Because apparently, all the production companies wanted to do it. Of course, so, because Simple Life was amazing. I watched every season of that show. It was incredible. 
So it was the, back when reality TV was still really oh, good. The good old days of reality. That was the oh my gosh. TV. I want to go back and binge it. It was so much fun. It was actually believable. Like yes, it was, even though Paris was just like, what's Walmart? <laughs> it was it was so funny. But I don't know if this reality TV show with Paris and Nicole is going to be any... Their parents know, their moms know, they're married now. It's just going to be It'll a lot of married people. It'll it, have to be, but I don't care. I don't know if I'm that invested in this. I will watch it. It's got to be better than the Kardashians, which has... <laughs> why, why are we still filming the Kardashians? Because I, the, they're the Kardashians and they can do what they want. Exactly. I don't know who watches it. I mean, I do out of like yes, do. obligation, but beyond that, like season five of the Kardashians is on the way. And by the way, the fact that they're at season five already since they moved to Hulu is blowing my mind. We're just a good team. We're getting like what two seasons a year, and two seasons a year of nothing. It's of nothing. <laughs> like, the Kardashians is proof that when you give the stars producer. Power power and the power to cut things that they don't want you to see it makes it unwatchable it, it, it's so fun it's, it's like a big long advertise advertisement for all of their businesses and that's it that's all it is that's all it is they get to introduce their babies and then tell you about their products tell us about what they want to tell us about keep things from us just talk about the fun things and some little 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 tips oh me and chloe are fighting today oh, but we're sisters and we love each other we've been doing that since the kardashians started it's so wore out i am shocked that we're still doing this because i don't even see them on our radar much even when the, sh the show is out nobody's really talking about the episodes nobody Not really, really because there's nothing to talk about. You're going on another no, family trip. You're what's happening that. off the show is more interesting than what's happening on the show. And that's again, yeah. why you need to have production that's not related to the cast that wants to make it interesting. Because this is just, I mean, they're so far removed from reality that they don't even know what people want to see. And this is not it. And also they don't, here's the reason why they don't know or care what we want to see. Because right. they're just watching it, like their fans are watching it anyway. They could slap Kardashians on a piece of paper All on a blank screen, and people they would just sit there and watch that blank screen for two hours and be like, "This is the best thing." Mm -hmm. So I think because they know that whatever they give to their fans, they're gonna just chug it down. They don't have to do; they don't have to work very hard. Because why would I work hard if I cannot work hard and still get paid and get all these things? Like. And Courtney's been saying that for years. <laughs> oh, by the way, Courtney's back in this one, just showing mm -hmm. her little pregnancy. You know, she loves being pregnant. She loves she her mom. Had that maybe like seven months ago. And that's the other thing with these. But we still haven't seen his face. Oh, then she still hasn't shown his face. Well, maybe they're saving it for the show. I'm sure they are. I went mm -hmm. digging and actually like Travis showed a video of them at the beach and showed the baby and he had a hat on pulled over his face so you couldn't see his face. He's really cute and chubby. That means we're going to see it on. Probably. They're going to monetize it, of course. Must Whatever. Nice. By the time you know, I won't even care. I don't remember I what don't Chloe's care. baby looks like. I don't remember what Kylie's baby looks like. We're at it's the point where they wait for so long that I just don't care. But that's the problem I have with reality TV shows. They're going to have to find a way to churn out these things earlier because we're watching their lives in real time. And in 10 months later, you're showing me what I already saw on social media 10 months ago. Right, it's, right. It's not like I saw everything already. I know you're bringing me back when we know we've moved past that. We're mm. going to have to find a way to get these out quicker. Thank you. Because it's not. No, it's just what are we doing? It's silly. There, nothing. There's no excitement because i already know i saw it when it was happening in real time but for a minute and i don't think i had anything yeah we discussed jerry jerry and teresa there was a new update on why they got divorced what was it <laughs> this is so ridiculous but here we go okay so ben higgins who is also a bachelor star and also from indiana just like Ooh. jerry Ben Higgins. Ben Higgins. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Said that he heard, now he prefaced this and gave like the whole like, now I believe this is just a rumor. It's a, at this point, it's just a rumor. I don't know if it, to be for fact. Mm -hmm. But he heard that when Teresa came to visit Jerry in Indiana, 
he was driving her home from the airport or whatever, and they were passing by the cornfields. And she was ooing and aahing at all this undeveloped land. And can you imagine if they put condos up and put a resort on the lake over there and built this up and all the different towns and things that, oh man, this could be so great if they just turned it into cities. And apparently Jerry was so offended and was just like, you can't take the land from the farmers. That's not how it works. And they went back and forth because they could not agree on how they would develop some land that's not even theirs. I'm <laughs> what? that apparently it was at that point they realized just how far apart they are in okay. like idealistically I guess or like okay. in like how they would like run a business or how they would invest their money or oh, okay. you know whatever it was at that point that they decided that they couldn't do it I yeah. guess I mean cornfields so their marriage ended over a cornfield well. it was not a field of dreams <laughs> They're so lame. I'm so funny. <laughs> I, I'm sick of both of them. <laughs> I'm sick of them both too, but so it's the only boring. bachelor stuff people seem to want to hear about lately, and I'm sick of them too. I pray to never be that corny at their age because honest, like really guys, like really guys, this is what you couldn't get over. A corny that doesn't belong to either of you because right. <laughs> This could not be a discussion. And she she's a Jersey girl and she wants to build it all up and make it business. I mean, she's a finance person. She's a girl from New Jersey. She yeah, wants to she, like. But she's given an idea and said that's what she would do with it, right? But it's not hers and she was right. a good guy. And also, right. he could. I'm sure she could understand when he's saying, listen, no, this belongs to the farmers. We don't want anymore. But that's not a. Why couldn't we? I mean, she would be. It's a conversation. It's not a breakup. It's, it's just the whole thing was just. The whole thing was just weird and it's wild. Weird. And, that is correct. Because even if she said it, she probably wasn't thinking because it's his, he sees a small. So that's I'm his sure, home, right? But he says it and he's like, no, no, no. Remember the farmers, remember, we don't want to. And you could be like, okay, I didn't think of it that way. But now that you mention it, fine. Why are we, we're divorcing over this? I mean, I don't believe, I don't even think that that's necessarily it. Yeah. What a wild story for but him. I, I, su know. I suppose the point is that they're just so far apart in terms of those things right. that it, it just wouldn't. That was, right. Okay. Exactly. And okay. also now I'm feeling for porn. It's like a sweet porn. <laughs> the porn? <laughs> like the corn kid. Remember that corn boy on TikTok? I love porn. Awesome. No. I'll send it to you. <laughs> no, Sonny, I do not remember that corn kid on TikTok. I do not. Oh, man. I'll send I don't remember that corn kid on TikTok. <laughs> I'm all about the trends. All the trends. <laughs> remember that corn kid on TikTok? No. No. Absolutely not Mrs. TikTok. No. I made a video. Today? I I'm no. on it. I need to so see that trend like two years ago. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you <laughs> love it, you really love your TikToks. I do.